Hi, my name is Jimena Latinx Couture. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I am Colorado Drag Excellence. I had hit a really dark place as a boy, um, and I ended up at Charlie's one night, and I was watching the girls perform and give you everything. I was watching um, other Denver queens, Andrea Stax and Molina, and I remember sitting in the back, and I'd been crying my eyes out the whole day, so I didn't want anyone to see me. Um, and just seeing the spark that they had while they were performing, and just like wishing that I had that spark in me again. And so slowly I started thinking about possibly doing drag, but I was too scared to make the step. Um, so then I entered this turnabout show where a drag queen, a Denver queen, has an hour to paint you and put you in full drag. And then you perform and it's a competition. So at the time I was able to get um, Evelyn Evermore to paint me so we did the whole mug in 45 minutes and she put me in drag and I was in awe of how good I looked <laughs> um, and then from there it just took off um, Bella Couture Lachere is my mother um, and I'm the mother of Latinx doing drag is just an outlet to me um, it's an outlet where I can let loose and let my creativity just flow. I design and create all the outfits that I wear in drag. Um, so to me, I think it's very important for everyone to have something like that, especially during these times with COVID and everything where everything is so uncertain. Um, so I think um, to me, that's what it's been to me. Um, I enjoy creating new looks. I enjoy pushing my boundaries and being better um, in every outfit that I make. So this outfit was to signify um, personal growth. Um, so for this outfit, I actually auditioned for the largest Latin drag reality TV show in the country, La Drag Queen Soy Yo, um, season two. And so the, the main theme of it was fuchsia theme. So I wanted to make a dress um, that kind of broke some boundaries and broke some um, expectations. Um, so a lot of the Latin drag scene is very pageantry um, and I'm a little bit of both pageantry because I like the smooth look, the smooth um, blended look. Uh, but I do like getting to step out of the boundaries and be a little monster. Um, creating this look was um, was pre pretty much um, challenging myself in saying um, this is essentially where my growth in drag has been from very basic little caterpillar um, going through um, metamorphosis and now I'm this beautiful fucking butterfly and I wanted to make it even more dramatic so I made a huge ass train because why not? I think the biggest advice is have fun. I think um, so many girls nowadays get so lost in the look and having the perfect hair, the perfect clothes, the perfect nails. And I think you need to just enjoy the journey of drag. I think that's the biggest, um, I, that's my biggest advice for anyone that's wanting to do drag. And I tell it to my daughters because they see me and they see Bella and they're like, oh, well we want to do this like polished look. And it's like, no, like, I want you guys to fail and and realize that moment and feel that moment so that you never are back to that moment and just have fun, like enjoy the journey to becoming this polished queen um, because you'll be so much more grateful of all your experiences and all the networking and everything that you do with the girls with the scene, both here and at a stay. And so to me, that's been my biggest blessing.
This video is brought to you by one of our fabulous sponsors and partners, AARP. AARP's unwavering commitment to the LGBTQ community reflects their core belief in dignity, worth, and potential of every individual. They see diversity not for a reason of division, but as a source of strength. For them, LGBTQ communities are a vital part of the quilt of American life. AARP's commitment can be measured by what they say and what they do in their policy work at the community, state, and national levels as they collaborate with other organizations serving multicultural communities. In their role as an employer, as a purchaser of supplies, as an active participant in community events, they are proud to stand with LGBTQ plus members, non-members, allies, and critical stakeholders. With more than 2% of AARP's nearly 38 million members self-identifying as LGBTQ, AARP may have one of the largest constituents of LGBTQ members among U.S. membership organizations. At AARP, they work hard every day to fight for and equip individuals to live their best lives. What we do, we do for all, is a guiding principle articulated by their founder, distinguished educator, Dr. Ethel Percy Andrus, and they proudly carry it forward. Thank you so very much, AARP, for sponsoring Colorado Drag Excellence.